Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Thursday at the Watertown Farm Show. Appreciate you all being out here with us early this morning. We're going to get underway with the Maine Anjou Show. This is the first class of females this morning, class number one. These are April heifers, lot two, consigned by Scoglin Cattle Company, and lot four, consigned by Par 5 Cattle Company. I want to thank our sponsors for the day. Their banners are displayed up over here on the uh, west wall. Re Relia Bank, Meyer Insurance, and Plains Commerce Bank. Also, our judge this morning is Barry Calise. Barry's from Howard, South Dakota. He and his family uh, own and operate a Angus and uh, Sim Angus operation. So we're glad to have Barry here with us sorting the cattle today. Again, this is the first class of Maine Anjou heifers. Both of them, Aprils of 2017. Welcome this morning. Uh, pretty early in the morning for me to make tough decisions. Here's a close pair right here, and uh, kind of hard for me to... To separate them, they're just a pair of heifers that fit pretty nice together. We're going to leave them like this. This heifer uh, up in front here, when you put this one in motion, she's a little bit softer topped. I like the way she handles herself on the go. She's good from the side. She's more of a production-oriented kind of a heifer, uh, going to make more of a cow. She's big ribbed, thick-ended, big topped. If you're going to take one home and make uh, make some bulls or whatever, uh, what, what you're uh, operation is driven towards I think she's going to do a good job at that the heifer in seconds more of the show kind of a female uh, from the front one third this heifer is pretty hard to beat she's extremely nice up through her head and neck uh, there's a smooth shouldered smooth jointed one that's good from the side I think she has enough muscle to her uh, you know maybe a little bit greener out here but that's a really good profile and heifer right there congratulations Thank you, Barry. First place goes to lot number four, PRV Empress 711 SE, consigned by Par 5 Cattle Company. Second place goes to lot number two, SKOG Ms. Lexus, consigned by Scoglin Cattle Company. The second class of females entering the ring at this time, these are all March heifers. Lot 1X, consigned by Josh Stanglin. Lot 6, consigned by Holly Farms, and Lot 7, consigned by Zach Post. Again, these are March 2017 females. After this class, we'll bring back our uh, first and second place here in the main show for champion and reserve heifer selection.
real good class of heifers right here, and I, I think this heifer at the top end uh, that we're going to start with is just exceptional. That, that's an extremely powerful heifer right there, uh, extremely wide from the front end and, and wide-based. You get behind her. She's as big a topped and thick-ended one as you'd ever need. Uh, plenty of rib in that one as well, and she maintains a real nice look from the side. Yeah, there's other heifers behind her that are a little bit smoother shouldered, but you know that one's just so, so powerful. We need to start with that one right there. The heifer in second, I like this heifer's stoutness that she features. She's big top, thick ended, you know, and I think she has a good enough look from the side. It's a little bit closer between her and the third place heifer for me, but there's one that just has a little more stoutness and power to her. The heifer that ends up the line up in third, uh, I like her balance and design a little bit better from the side. She's smoother shouldered and cleaner fronted. I think she's probably the most feminine heifer of the three. One that you put her on feet a little longer, she's going to be pretty tough to beat next summer. So three really, really good heifers there. Congratulations. Thank you, Barry. Placings from class number two. First place goes to lot number one X, consigned by Josh Stanglin. Second place to lot number six, consigned by Holly Farms. And third place goes to lot number seven, consigned by Zach Post. This time we'll be bringing in our two class winners for selection of Grand Champion Main NGU Heifer this morning. First in, winning the uh, first class, is lot number four, consigned by Par 5 Cattle Company. Second in the ring is lot number one X, consigned by Josh Stanglin. And we're bringing our second places back in as well. Third in the ring there is lot number two, consigned by Scoglin Cattle Company. And fourth in the ring is our second place winner from class two, lot number six, consigned by Holly Farms. Really happy with the quality that the exhibitors brought out. I think uh, there's some heifers that'll work for about any kind of a program that you run at home, uh, whether you raise show kind of cattle or production cattle. There's certainly uh, some heifers that'll work for everybody, no matter what direction you're heading there. But uh, I think there's a pair of heifers out here that really sort themselves at the top, and uh, I really appreciate the quality of this champion heifer that we have. They're going to come out of the second class. Uh, congratulations. Let's give them a nice hand. Grand champion female this morning in the main Andrew show goes to lot number one X consigned by Josh Stanglin. And your reserve champion heifer, it comes as the second place female in that same class, lot number Six, consigned by Holly Farms. Be just a moment or so, and they'll uh, get lined up for the bull classes this morning. Just a reminder that the Main Anjou sale is scheduled to start at 12 o'clock right here in the show ring. So come on back at 12 o'clock for the main sale.
Just a single entry in the first class of bows here in the main show this morning. This is an a, a, uh, April bow consigned by Par 5 Cattle Company, lot number 8X. Well, here's an April calf that I really like. He's a, a big framed, uh, high performing kind of a bull production kind of a calf right here that's just super stout and rugged made. Uh, I really appreciate him when you get behind him. Big and square out of his hip, carries that down his top line. If you're going to put some grow and some muscle in a set of cattle, this bull is going to work pretty good for you. Congratulations. Again, first place in class number one goes to lot number 8X, consigned by Par 5 Cattle Company. They split the uh, March bull class into two. These are the late March bulls. First in is lot number nine, consigned by Beckett Ranch. Second in the ring is lot number 10, consigned by Holly Farms. And third in the ring is lot number 12, consigned by Clark Cattle Company. Three bulls in this class, late marches. Nice set of calves here and a uh, little bit of everything out here, uh, different kinds and types. I started with the, the big, rugged, masculine, big testicled, stout made bull to win the class. Here's the, appears to be the highest performing bull of the bunch. He's going to go out and sire the heaviest set of feeder cattle of the three, I think. And uh, I, I like the rib shape and dimension in that one. He's by far the heaviest muscled bull of the three. The calf that comes in second, there's a maybe a better structured bull 
I like the, the cleanness and neatness up through his front end. He's probably one of the better profiling calves. He's really uh, smooth-shouldered and jointed and just a good, good-sided calf there. The calf that ends up the class, I think, has a little more shape to him. I think he's got more shape and dimension down, top, down his top and out through his, through his butt end, but uh, three good bulls, good bulls there. So uh, let's give him a nice hand. Congratulations. Thank you, Barry. First place in uh, the late March bow class goes to lot number 12, consigned by Clark Cattle Company. Second place to lot number 9, consigned by Beckett Ranch. And third place goes to lot number 10, consigned by Holly Farms. Class number 3, this is the early March bulls. Lot number 14, consigned by Gilberts and Cattle. And lot number 15, consigned by Hofer Farms. Again, these are the early March 2017 bulls.
Here's a nice pair of calves out here, and uh, tough for me to separate the two. They're kind of geared a little different. I think we start with the performance and growth bull. Uh, here's a big top, long-sided, uh, uh, big middle kind of a calf that's extremely stout, and that could be said for both of them. I think he just has a notch more performance and grow. There's more pounds in that one right there, and it's pretty hard for me to ignore that. The calf that comes in second, I like his pattern and design better. He's better from the side. He's long and level, smooth and clean. Uh, just a really good calf right there. So a pair of, a pair of nice bulls. Congratulations. Thank you, Barry. First place in the early March bull class goes to lot number 15, consigned by Hofer Farms. Second place goes to lot number 14, consigned by Gilbertson Cattle. This is the last class of Maine bulls for the show this morning. These are February's, two bulls in this class. First in is lot 16, consigned by Beckett Ranch. Second in the ring is lot 17X, consigned by Eastview Mains. At the conclusion of this class, we'll bring the first and second places back for selection of Grand and Reserve Champion Maine Anjou Bull. nice calves here I, I chose the the growth bull the performance bull of the two here's the stout featured uh, heavy muscled calf I think that uh, bull has a lot to offer the calf that comes in second I like him on the move a bit better he's he's flexing better off both ends today he's smooth made I really like him through his front end I think the females out of that bull would be exceptional so a pair of nice calves right there Thank you, Barry. First place goes to lot number 17X, consigned by Eastview Mains. Second place goes to lot 16, consigned by Beckett Ranch. Just a moment or so, we'll be bringing back the class winners for selection of champion and reserve champion main bull. Bulls entering the ring for selection of Grand and Reserve Champion Main Bull this morning. First place out of Class 1, lot number 8X, consigned by Par 5 Cattle Company. 
Second in is going to be first place out of class number two, consigned by Clark Cattle Company. Third in, winning class three, is lot number 15, consigned by Hofer Farms. And fourth in is going to be the first place bowl out of class four, cons lot number 17X, consigned by Eastview Mains. The uh, second place bowls will also be entering the ring for contention for reserve bowl. Second place bowl in class two is, con is lot nine, consigned by Beckett Ranch. Second place in class three is lot 14, consigned by Gilberts and Cattle. And second place in class four is lot number 16, consigned by Beckett Ranch. I'm super happy with the set of bulls we've got out here. I think uh, the exhibitors have outdone themselves. Uh, a ton of quality in these cattle. And uh, if you're looking to purchase a bull uh, ringside here today, I think you're in luck because you've got uh, some of the top breeders around the country in the ring. Uh, you know, this calf of the first class, there's one that you can't overlook. He's got some performance. Uh, there's a there's a calf that comes at us a little greener. I like that about him. You get him home, he's going to look better every day. So there, there's a nice young calf right there. The calf out of the second class, there was a tough uh, pair, three bulls there in that one. And the, that calf sorted himself uh, to the top really easily. Certainly in contention out here. I like his design, but uh, at the same time, he has as much power and width as any of them. The Baldy bull out of third class. There's one I'd like to see a set of females out of. They'd be uh, pretty hard to part with. He's he's long sided. He's extended through his front end, but yet doesn't give up any performance. Uh, certainly one of the top bulls out here as well. Out of the fourth class, there's a real powerful kind of a calf. Uh, extremely stout. Extremely thick ended. You know, if you're looking to add uh, add some punch to a commercial set of cows or if you're in a purebred operation or gearing towards the show ring, I think there's something out here for everybody. Uh, exceptional set of bulls. Uh, if you could help me, give them a nice hand and congratulate them. Nice set. Congratulations to lot number 15, consigned by Hofer Farms, who'll be your champion main Anjou bull this morning. Pulling in to compete for reserve will be second place in that class, lot number 14, consigned by Gilberts and Cattle. Again, our judge this morning is Barry Calise. Barry's from Howard. He and his family farm and have an Angus and Simmental operation at Howard, South Dakota. Uh, please join me in a round of applause for Barry for being here and judging the show and his comments this morning. Thank you, Barry. And reserve champion Main Anjou Bo goes to lot 14, consigned by Gilberts and Cattle. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the Main Anjou show this morning. Don't go too far. I think they're going to move right into the Shorthorn show. It'll be just a moment or two while they get organized, but I believe the plan is to kind of roll right into the Shorthorns. Once again, uh, join us at 12 o'clock right back here for the main sale in the show ring. So again, the main show or main sale will start right at 12 noon, followed by the shorthorn sale after that. Be just a moment or two, and we'll be underway with the shorthorn show.
be just another moment or two for the Shorthorn show. They've got the judge out taking some pictures of the champions from the main show. So it'll be just another moment or two. They wrap up some pictures and we'll be underway with the Shorthorn show.
All right, good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting underway with the Shorthorn Show. First class of heifers this morning, class one, two entries. First in the ring is lot number 38, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. And second in the ring is lot number 39, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. These females are May of 2017. Class one, May heifers. Here's a pair of calves with a lot of future ahead of them. Uh, real young and, and trim, so they're going to get better when you get them home for sure. This one that we start with is the stouter featured heifer with a little more to her. She's big bodied. I think she has enough muscle and just a real good place to start. The calf that comes in second may be a little cleaner and sleeker about her front end, but uh, certainly a good sided one as well. Congratulations. Thank you, Barry. First place goes to lot number 39, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. Second place goes to lot number 38, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. Second class of shorthorn heifers entering the ring. First in is lot number 36, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. Second in is lot number 31, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock. And these are April 2017 females. As a reminder, these are the, uh, the purebred shorthorns that we've started the show with. We've got five classes of purebreds and four classes of shorthorn pluses. So we will show the purebreds first, followed by the shorthorn pluses, and be the same, same fashion for the bull show. pair of heifers that uh, differ in the way they're made a little bit. I, I chose to start with the stouter featured, uh, wider constructed heifer to win. Uh, here's one that has a big old foot under her. She takes a nice long stride. I think uh, as much rib and body as you need. She's certainly adequate in her muscle. You view her from the side and she maintains her femininity and look and balance as well. The heifer that comes in second. I like this one a lot. She's really green out here. She's going to get better. Uh, that's one that profiles as good as any of them. She's really clean and neat through her front end, and she tracks really good as, as well. So a pair of real nice heifers there. Congratulations. Thank you, Barry. First place in class number two goes to lot 31, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock. Second place to lot 36, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. Class number three. We'll be next in. There are five females in this class. First in is lot number 28, consigned by West Shorthorns. Second in the ring will be lot number 27, consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. 
Third in the ring will be lot number 26, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. Followed by fourth in the ring, lot number 24, consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. And coming in fifth, entering the ring fifth, will be lot number 23, consigned by Stangle Shorthorns. Again, five females in this class, and they are March 2017 purebred females.
good class of heifers here, and I think we've got a red heifer that runs to the top. Uh, a highly presented heifer, I realize. All these cattle are handled a little different and fed a little different. She's ready to go today. That one, uh, I like her from the side quite a bit. She's super stout. She's big, middled, thick-ended, and still has a really, really good look to her, a good heifer to start with. The roan heifer that comes in second, she's more moderate in her frame size. She's maybe a little bit bigger middled. Uh, there's one that's extremely square on all fours. She's maybe a bit smoother shouldered, cleaner up through her front end. I like that one a lot as well. The heifer that comes in third, uh, a little bit trimmer out here, but she's really good to look at. That's one that's going to get better down the road. I think if you're looking for a sleeper, she could be awfully nice next summer with a little more condition on her. This heifer in third, I realize she has a notch more performance to her. Uh, a heifer that has a little more grow and we compare it to the heifers on either side of her. And then we end up the class with a, a good balanced, good sided heifer that's extremely nice through her front one third. A nice class of heifers. Let's give them a good hand. Thank you, Barry. First place in class three females goes to lot number 23 consigned by Stangle Shorthorns. Second place goes to lot number 24, consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. Third place to lot number 27, consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. Fourth place goes to lot number 26, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. And fifth place to lot number 28, consigned by West Shorthorns. Entering the ring at this time is class number four, Purebred females. First in is lot 20. All right, looks like we switched a little bit. First in is going to be lot number 20, consigned by Galbreath Farms. Second in the ring is lot number 22, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. And third in the ring will be lot number 19, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle.
Well, we've got three heifers out here that uh, are really different. Each one of them has uh, some really good things to offer. I think the one that puts the most right things together uh, is at the top, and this roan heifer is, uh, I realize, not the cleanest fronted. She's not the biggest bodied, highest performing, but she puts those things together the best for me. She's really square and true on all four feet and legs. She balances up really good from the side. I think she's had quitting her muscle and certainly has plenty of rib to her. The heifer that comes in second, there's the performance, the body, the mass. Uh, that heifer just has a ton of good in her uh, front to back. Not as clean in front of it as the ones on either side of her, but I think she's going to make a whale of, whale of a cow. The one that ends up the class of red heifers, good sided. She's probably the cleanest and longest through her front end. She's a big outline kind of a heifer. Uh, just a really nice balanced one right there. So congratulations on three good heifers. Thank you, Barry. First place in class number four goes to lot number 22, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. Second place to lot number 20, consigned by Galbraith Farms. And third place to lot number 19, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. Class number five will be next. There are six females in this class. And this will be the bread heifer class this morning. Class number five. First in is lot number 18, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. Second in the ring will be lot number 17, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. Third in the ring will be lot number 15, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. Fourth in the ring will be lot 14, consigned by... Ost Osterman Shorthorns. Fifth in the ring will be lot 13, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. And entering the ring, the sixth female is lot number 11, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock. These are all of the bred females in the purebred portion of the Shorthorn Show this morning. They range in age from January of 2016 to the end of May 2016. Januarys to Mays, bred heifers in the purebred division of the Shorthorn Show.
Boy, it's a challenge to sort these bread heifers because each one of them offers you something. Uh, and some of them, uh, I think, uh, put together the most things right on the top end here. Uh, this heifer, this red heifer that we start with, she's the big-bodied, uh, big-topped heifer that uh, is incredibly stout. Uh, I think she's feminine enough for me. She's good balanced from the side and tracks pretty well when we put her in motion, a good place to start with. Then it gets pretty tough, their own heifer that comes next. She's a younger heifer, uh, bred up a little bit better, but uh, that's one that you like from the side quite a bit. She's good balanced, she's good top, long-sided, long up through her front end, takes a nice long stride, good heifer to put in that second hole. This one that comes out in third is a little bigger bodied. She's deeper sided. I like her balance. She's clean and neat up through her front end. Not quite as much to her when you get behind her and, and when we compare to the roan heifer, but I think that's one that you like her rib shape and dimension through the middle. The heifer that comes next, she's the big outlined, high-performing heifer. If you want one that's going to have some calves that are going to get up and grow, that one's going to work for you. She's extremely stout and big-footed. I like the performance in her. The pair of heifers that come next are pretty comparable. The, the next one here is a little more moderate in her frame size. She has a notch more body to her and rib shape. And then the one that ends up the class is long and neat through her front end. Just needs more to her for me today, but a real good class of bred heifers. Congratulations. Thank you, Barry. First place, class number five, the bred heifers, goes to lot number 11, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock. Second place goes to lot number... 18, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. Third place goes to lot number 14, consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. Fourth place to lot number 13, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. Fifth place goes to lot 15, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. And sixth place to lot 17, also consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. In just a moment or two, we'll be bringing back our class winners for selection of champion purebred shorthorn heifer this morning. First heifer in is going to be your winner from class number one. She's lot 39, consigned by Faxon Creek Cattle Company. Entering the ring second, winning class two is lot 31, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock. Winning class three is lot 23, consigned by Stangle Shorthorns. Winning class four, lot number 22, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company. And winning class five is lot number 11, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock.
you've just walked up to the ring, we are presently selecting champion purebred shorthorn heifer here this morning. Our judge is Barry Calise. Barry's from Howard, South Dakota. He and his family farm and have a large Angus and Simmental uh, registered operation. Let's give Barry a nice hand. I think he's done a good job. I've appreciated his comments today, and I'm glad that he's here. Thank you, Barry. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I think uh, you've got a whale of a set of shorthorn females here, and uh, you're pretty fortunate if you're looking to buy some cattle today to have some of the top breeders in the country in the ring here today. Uh, let's talk about the heifers a bit. This heifer out of the first class, uh, obviously the green trim young heifer out here that uh, has a lot of future ahead of her. I think you take that one home, you're not going to be disappointed. She, she needs some feed into her uh, a little bit of time, and with that, uh, she'll be one that's going to be tough to get around in the ring and going to go home and make a phenomenal cow. This roan heifer is really intriguing out of the second class. She's uh, when you get her set on the side, she looks really, really good. I like the, the design and balance uh, of that one, and yet she's stout enough. She has enough shape to her. Uh, I really like that female quite a bit. The heifer that comes out of the third class, she's bigger and more performance uh, than the heifers on either, either side of her appears to be kind of the growth, uh, the, the, good, the good growth heifer. Uh, I like the, the length of side that she has. Uh, plenty of rib in that one. I think she has enough muscle, and yet she puts it into a really feminine package. That's a pretty tough combination to get around. The roan heifer that uh, comes out of the fourth class, I, I think she's uh, uh, the good the good sided one, the good balanced. I like the, the dimension that she has as well, uh, but certainly a good, good fronted one that, that you really like uh, the look of. And then the bread that ends up the group, uh, forming a nice udder under, getting along in calf here, and uh, going to be able to capitalize on that investment pretty quickly. She's She's good sided. I think she uh, has enough performance, uh, certainly uh, an abundance of body and muscle in that one as well. So a tremendous set of heifers. I'm really pleased with them. Let's give the exhibitors a nice hand. Congratulations to the grand champion purebred shorthorn heifer this morning. Goes to lot number 23, consigned by Stangle Shorthorns. Coming in to compete for reserve will be second place out of that class. This is lot number 24, consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. Congratulations to reserve champion purebred shorthorn, lot number 31, consigned by Vanderwall Livestock. In just a moment or two, we'll, uh, we'll bring in the uh, shorthorn plus females, four classes of those. There are four heifers in uh, the first class in class six.
right into the Shorthorn Plus female show this morning. This will be, <clears throat> excuse me, class number six. First in is lot number 25, consigned by Galbraith Farms. Second heifer in will be lot 29, consigned by Stangle Shorthorns. Third heifer is lot 30, consigned by... Third into the ring is lot number 30. She's consigned by West Shorthorns. And fourth in is lot number 32, consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. These are late March to early April Shorthorn Plus females. Interesting class here, and uh, I like this heifer that starts off. I don't know if he's excited to bring her back out here, but uh, once she gets settled down, I think she'll be all right. That one's really nice from the side. I like her balance. I like her look that she has, and I think she has as much stout as as any heifer out here. So a good place to start, and then it gets a little closer. This heifer that comes in second uh, for me is just a, a notch cleaner, made better balance. You get her set up from the side, and I really like her profile. She's just a little different. She's higher performing, bigger body. 
that are coming in, they are all different ages and would have been single entries. So they are automatic class winners. We're going to go ahead and just in the interest of time, just select four champion overall shorthorn plus female. In the ring also, at this time, an automatic class winner from class seven, single entry, lot number 35 is consigned by Kelsey McGalka. Lot number 21, single entry, automatic class winner from class 8 is lot number 21, consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. And single entry, lot number 12, automatic class winner from class 9, also consigned by Osterman Shorthorns. Also out there is the class winner from class 6. Previously in the ring, lot 29, consigned by Stangle Shorthorns.
Lewis will be the second place effort in that class. She's lot number 30, consigned by West Shore. that comes in second he's patterned a bit better he's longer and cleaner up through his front end I like that about him he's good and level and square out of his hip a nice calf there as well I think he's stout enough he has enough rib to him just going to make an extremely good bull the calf that ends up the class he's a little bit trimmer than some out here I don't mind that about him he's going to get better as we go here he's big enough topped I think he has enough to him three good calves there congratulations
Thank you, Barry. First place in Class 10 Purebred Bulls goes to lot number 9, consigned by Vogel Shorthorns. Second place goes to lot number 7, consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. And third place goes to lot 6, consigned by Turkey Ridge Shorthorns. Class number 11 will be next. Just two bulls in this class. First in will be 4X, consigned by Turkey Ridge Shorthorns. Second bull in will be lot number 3, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. And this pair of bulls coming in will are both Januarys, January 2017. A tough pair to sort here. They kind of differ in the way they're made. Uh, I chose the more moderate frame bull, uh, the thicker uh, the thicker middle bull to win. Uh, this red bull that we start with is notch bigger, testicled. You get right behind him, that's where he wins. He has more rib shape and, and muscle through the center part of his quarter. I think a good sided bull as well, and he's certainly good enough structured. The calf that comes in second, he's the bigger framed, uh, bigger sided bull. If you're looking to put a little more uh, size in your cow herd, that one will work for you. He's long sided, he's extended through his front, and a real nice calf to end up with. So, congratulations on a good pair of bulls. Thank you, Barry. First place in class 11 goes to lot number 4X, consigned by Turkey Ridge Shorthorns. Second place to lot 3, consigned by Millvale Shorthorns. Last class of bulls in the purebred portion of the Shorthorn show is class 12. Two bulls in this class. First in is lot number 2. Consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. And second in is lot number one, consigned by Shrog Shorthorns. Spare bulls range in age from November 7th to December 18th, 2016.
good pair of fall bulls here and they differ a little bit in the way they're made. I chose the big outlined uh, high performing bull to win. I think he's uh, uh, the mature looking bull of the pair. He's more rugged in his design. He's bigger footed for sure. He's super stout and uh, tracks really well. A good place to start the red calf that comes second. I like that bull a lot. He's more moderate in his size. He's bigger middle. I, I like the rib shape that he has, more dimension through his quarter. Not as much to him, I realize, but there's a pair of real good bulls. Let's give him a nice hand. First place in class 12 goes to lot number one, consigned by Shrog Shorthorns. Second place goes to lot two, consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. We'll be bringing back our first place bulls for selection of champion purebred bull. First in will be lot number nine, consigned by Vogel Shorthorn Farm. Second in the ring will be lot number four X, consigned by Turkey Ridge Shorthorns. And third in will be lot number one, consigned by Shrog Shorthorns. We've got a real good purebred show, uh, a lot of good cattle for you guys to select from, and uh, really appreciate the exhibitors bringing them out here today. The bull out of the first class for me, uh, I like that calf a lot. He has a ton of shape, as much shape and dimension as anything we've seen all day. He's got a big old top in him. Uh, you appreciate him through his quarter. I think he's stout enough. He's got a good enough look. He balances up good from the side. A good calf there. The calf of the second class, a nicer look. He's a good pattern calf. He's level and square down his top, long and extended through his front end. Uh, real sound on the move. A nice calf there as well. And then the aged bull, uh, an incredibly stout individual. You like him a lot from the side. Uh, just a complete kind of a calf. He's going to be your champion bull. Congratulations. Champion purebred shorthorn goes to lot number one, consigned by Shrog Shorthorns. Congratulations. Coming in to compete for reserve will be lot number two, consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. And your reserve champion bull goes to lot number two, consigned by Kelsey Bagalka. Congratulations.
Entering the ring at this time is class number 13. These are all three Shorthorn Pluses. These are, uh, this is the only class of Shorthorn Pluses this morning, so this will be the automatic Grand and Reserve Shorthorn Plus. First in is lot number 10, consigned by West Shorthorns. Second in is lot number 8, also consigned by West Shorthorns. And third in the ring is lot number 5, consigned by Three Buck Cattle Company. These bulls range in age from February to early April 2017. February to early April, Shorthorn Plus Champion Bull Drive. Well, I think uh, three nice calves out here vary in age a bit. I, I chose the older bull to start. I think he has more growth for me today, uh, just simply more shape and dimension. He's big ribbed. He has a ton of stifle in him, a uh, real stout kind of a calf to start off with. The uh, bull that comes in second, I like his profile. He's an extremely stout featured, uh, big bone kind of a calf that's long-sided. He's level and square all the way through. Uh, not quite as much shape as the one in front of him, but I think he has enough performance to him. The calf that ends up the group, uh, a greener trimmer kind of a calf that has some future to him. He's good-sided. He has some balance to him. He's long and clean through his front end, a real nice place to end up the show with. So uh, congratulations. Thank you, Barry. Winning class 13, an automatic champion Shorthorn Plus, goes to lot 5, consigned by Three Buck Cattle Company. And your reserve champion goes to lot number 8, consigned by West Shorthorns. Third place in that class goes to lot number 10, also consigned by West Shorthorns. Okay, the last class this morning, this is a uh, class of steers, lot number 40, consigned by Vogel Shorthorn Farms. He is a Shorthorn Plus, and lot number 41, consigned by Bar Lazy R Cattle Company, is a Purebred. So a pair of steers here to wind out the Shorthorn Show this morning. Before we wrap things up for the day, would like to make uh, one more thank you to your sponsors of the day. Their banners are hanging over here on the wall. Thank you to Plains Commerce Bank, Relia Bank, and Meyer Insurance for their sponsorship and support here at the Watertown Farm Show. Also, like to thank uh, those of you watching and listening on LiveAuctions.tv. We've got almost the entire staff here this morning now, as I see over there. So appreciate those of you listening and watching on live auctions and uh, welcome your participation this afternoon in the sales. One final thank you to our judge this morning, uh, Barry Calise from Howard, South Dakota. Let's give Barry a nice hand uh, here as before prior to him selecting the steers out of the deal this morning. I appreciate Barry and his comments and his work. So thank you, Barry. And uh, take it away. Well, thanks, Chisholm. Uh, good pair of calves to end up the show. Uh, I think uh, depending on where your end point is, uh, either one of these steers could be real useful to a young person. They're broke. The homework's done. 
Uh, all you got to do is grab halter. So I think this is a pretty nice deal for you young people that are looking for a steer. We're going to go ahead and use the roan calf as your champion. Uh, I like the design of that one. He's good pattern. He's he's good enough from the side and yet uh, has some top shape and some width to him. Uh, going to be a fun one to get uh, showing down the road. The red steer is the bigger steer, obviously. Uh, a big top, to big hip kind of a calf. Uh, you know, you like his look from the side. I think... Uh, you get a little more feed into him, he's going to be uh, one heck of a fat steer. So a good pair of steers. Let's give him a nice hand. Well, that concludes the shows here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for your uh, attendance. Hope you enjoyed the morning. Want to uh, invite everybody right back here to the sale ring at 12 o'clock for the main Anjou sale. And that will be immediately followed by the shorthorn sale. So certainly welcome and encourage everybody to go out and visit with the consigners about these cattle, about their programs, and uh, how they could potentially work for you. Appreciate you being here. Enjoy the rest of the day at the farm show, and we'll see you right back here at 12 noon.